So exciting times now coming up for the former royal known as Prince Harry as we head towards that now much well, shall we say, anticipated docuseries all about the heart of Invictus coming up with his deal all thanks to Netflix. But as ever, there's always problems attached with whatever seemingly that Harry and Meghan want to do. And I don't mean that necessarily unkindly, but as ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you today in a blistering, beautiful London day today. Hope it's nice wherever you are, whatever you're doing, or you've had a nice day. By the way, can I just point out, a lot of people have been asking me regarding the new shorts that we put at the bottom. They're just a bit of fun, a little bite-sized chunk of news that you may enjoy. But they said, oh, you know, can we comment and like and share and things like that? It's exactly the same. This is the thing. I love sharing things with you. Someone taught me that, you know, and said, oh, this is how you make the meal. You know what it's like when you've got somebody younger than you that just does it everything literally around you and think goodness was it that easy but you're standing there for hours and end thinking how do you do that it's quite simple it's exactly the same way as you see on the main channel you know the main uh, sort of um, news bites and all that sort of stuff so do like and share and if you haven't subscribed do also it's always lovely to have your company and thank you for all your lovely comments so far about them as i say they're just a bit of a new feature that i thought i'll just share some bits and pieces with you along the way so glad though that you're enjoying them and thank you for taking the time out to click on them you see even know the technology now i know it's frightening isn't it <laughs> Back as ever to your breaking royal story of the day. Now, as we know, as I said, Invictus is going to be the big test, really. Harry's big, you know, Netflix docu-series that I do hope will do well, uh, you know, basically because of the people involved. As I say, some very brave men and women who have had difficult times uh, since leaving their forces, all that sort of stuff. People really should give them the utmost respect. And I like the fact that they've now got involved into something that they truly, clearly enjoy. You know, it's going to be fun for them. And for many, the first time, they're probably going to see themselves on international television. So let's hope that that gets something of an audience. But what I can tell you is simply this, that according to a well-placed source, one of the still ongoing battles that the former royal known as Prince Harry really finds very difficult, and this is something that he wouldn't mind having a one-to-one, -one, a tate-to-tate, -tate, as they keep claiming, uh, in the media with his majesty the king his father king charles is this you see as you recall when he uh, decided to abscond and go off to canada and uh, rule out a life in the british monarchy a couple of the things he didn't really like were the stripping of military titles and of course not being able to wear his uniform now as you can imagine and this is what's being fed back to me and as ever we have to say allegedly prince harry would love very much the idea to appear on that stage in his uniform Let's not forget, he does look good in it. There's no two ways about it. And for, you know, for whatever people may think about him, he did do those two tours of Afghanistan, I believe. And whatever, you know, he's been in there. And whether people say he didn't do much or what, you know, that's not for me to debate. Obviously, the people who were there know the bigger story. That's all I can say. But you can understand from an aesthetics point of view why he would want to feature this. But of course, Her Majesty the Queen basically said, no, you know, you're not allowed to do that anymore. And that is one thing that truly Harry would like to see overturned, perhaps loosening that. And in particular, being able to wear it in such a prestigious event like the Invictus Games would also have a lot of cachet. And let's not forget, remind people exactly about what he was and what he did. For now, though, it's still at stalemate, as many people keep claiming the King and Harry are going to meet soon. I disagree. You know, I don't see that happening anytime soon. And even if he was to persuade His Majesty the King, the bigger picture is then Prince William, and he's not shifting for anybody. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.